So putting the, uh, move that, there you go, the bigger batteries in the Monster Moto E1000. Got the Greenway Orange, 48 volt. I don't remember how many amp hours it is, let's see here, 15.6. People with razors, they're saying, you know, they're going three to five miles, so that's plenty for me for now. If not, I might be able to sh shove another one in here. There's a bit of foam out there I can take off, maybe shoehorn it in there, get rid of the box, I don't know. I think it'll be fine for me. So here's the factory Greenway wires. I pulled the factory charge port out, which looked like a computer power plug, the little three prong thing. I didn't have any plastic or metal use, so I just used a piece of wood for the charge port that I had. I'm using a barrel uh, plug with just a regular Amazon charger. I'll put a link. And I didn't feel like soldering. I never tried these locks before, so I thought I'd try them since this is low amperage. It says they're good up to 32 amps. So the charge wire, I think the charger is 1.5 amps or something like that, so it'll be fine. So now I gotta join the charge wires to the battery wire. And then here is the Moto harness. I took off the original battery pack. So I'm gonna plug that into the controller for now. The 20, I don't know what it is, 36 volt controller. It'll be fine for a while. I'm gonna order a 48 volt uh, controller and a new grip to have a voltage display on it to replace that bad boy. And then, uh, yeah, get it all together. You can see my other batteries. Yep, they're about to pop. You can see it's warped right there. Pretty good bulge. I don't know what the previous owner did. Wrong charger, too big a charger. Or what, but... And then, uh, yeah. Get her in, put the plate on. Let her rip. I was doing about 15 miles an hour flat with the uh, SLAs. So I should be quite a bit faster with all that weight gone. And the more voltage. Alright. Let's we'll see how it goes.